what's going on everybody uh, in today's video I'm doing some root raking with this cat 963 loader and I should have gotten a shot of the actual loader I'm gonna walk around of it but I didn't so if you don't know what a cat 963 loader is uh, you're probably not watching this video anyway <laughs> because you wouldn't be very interested in this so uh, anyway just to kind of give you in case you don't know what one is, or in case you don't understand exactly what I'm doing here, um, this is one of the first times I've ever root rigged with a loader. So I've been pretty well instructed by some guys that have been doing it for 40 plus years and are considered, um, you know, very good at what they do when it comes to raking a, uh, a cleared area. So what you do with the rake here is you go through the soil and you try to work out any like roots or sticks or just any wood matter that's left in the soil once the area has been cleared. All this has been stumped. Uh, there might be some little stumps left over that you missed, but you know nothing that's too big for this loader to pull out of the ground easily. So every all the big stuff has been gotten. You know all the logs and everything are out of there. And what you do with the loader is you put your um, your rake down on the ground, kind of like you see me doing here and then uh, you work your way forward and as you move forward you're kind of working the ground with the rake and you know you'll see like the rake I'm always kind of moving it some as I'm moving along like there you see it kind of going up and down what I'm doing there is I'm trying to work the dirt out of the ground you know out of the rake and just keep the you know the roots the small pieces of wood whatever's in the dirt just keep that in the rake and get the dirt out of the rake because ultimately what's going to happen here is you know, you can see I'm not going a very far distance, and that's kind of what you do is you go a shorter distance because you can't rake. You know, if you try and go 100 yards with the rake, you're not going to be able to get as much. You're going to lose stuff. So what you do is you move a short distance like this, at least the way I'm doing it. You go a short distance like this, get it pushed up into windrows, and then once you get your windrow up, you push that into a pile, which you'll see me do here. Probably right about here. I probably should be about ready to do that. So then you push your windrow into a pile, and uh, all the while you're trying to work dirt out of the of the roots and the wood and everything. Because ultimately, what's going to happen is this stuff's going to get piled up, and then it's going to be put into the grinder. And the grinder does not respond well to dirt. And this is by far like the dirtiest, the most potential for dirt getting in the grinder is going to happen from this product here that I'm that I'm working up. So. Um, the, the point is to get as much wood out of the ground with as little dirt as possible and the area that I'm working in is actually really easy to rake in because it's very sandy dirt so it's not like you know it's mud or you know sticky clay or anything like that that's sticking to the to the, uh, the roots and the sticks and everything so it's a good place for me to learn but this is really the first time I've ever spent a lot of time root raking um, so, you know, I'm definitely not an expert by any means on the subject. Uh, and they kind of just threw me on this thing. You know, I watched a guy do it. Because um, I've done it before for, for another company, but they weren't really... Uh, I don't know. They just... <laughs> they weren't, like, professionals or anything they, at this. They just kind of, you know, wing, winged me. You know, they just tried to, you know, tried to do the best they could, and it was good enough for who it was for. It was kind of their attitude. So... These guys that I'm working for here take this very seriously. Um, they actually have certain customers simply because of the fact that they do such a good job finishing up uh, at the end of a job. You know, they leave very little wood matter in the soil. And what will happen is all the topsoil will be stripped off this, and uh, then they'll put that through a soil processor. And if you have a bunch of, like, you know, bits and pieces of trees and roots and stumps and all this stuff in the soil, the soil processor is not going to, uh, I don't know why I stopped here, whatever, um, the soil processor is not going to um, process the soil well if it's got a bunch of large wood matter in it. So companies that are, you know, the earth moving companies want the soil to be as clean as possible before they come in and strip it off um, and that's what we're doing here is trying to get the soil as clean as possible so the company that I'm working for here actually gets a fair amount of their work from a few different companies who um, 
you know, appreciate the thorough job that they do uh, finishing, you know, the clearing projects to a point where they can, you know, these earth moving companies can just come in and strip off the topsoil and not really have to fight with a lot of a lot of wood matter in the soil. Because there's, I mean, there's, I've worked with people who will just, you know, they'll bury a stump, they'll bury a log, you know, they'll go back and forth across everything real quick and just say, oh, good enough, like, whatever, you know, we got it, on to the next one. Um, so I'm trying to do as thorough a job as I can here, uh, and I think I did an okay job. They didn't say anything to me about it as far as it not being the way it was supposed to be. So, uh, yeah, I might fast forward here to a little bit further along, and we can move to... Uh, well, here you can see, yeah, I'm going to push up the wind. So there you can see I kind of pushed up my windrow, came in there, and then made a turn, and now I'm going to push it. And that pile there in front of me is kind of where everything's going to end up. Um, you know, that's kind of the point is to, you know, as you go, make little piles in a row, and then you push all those piles up together. So right now I'm working with this pile, and once I get everything worked out of the ground, then I'll back drag it all with the, uh, with the rake. So it'll leave like a, you know, just like little, it'll all be kind of like clean and nice looking. Another thing you're doing too when I'm going along here is any like bumps or stump holes or whatever, I'm trying to make sure they're kind of filled in, smoothed out. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you want them to be able to come in and work with something that's not a nasty, bumpy, you know, just like places for water to collect, all that kind of stuff. So you're trying to relatively smooth everything out fairly well. And, uh, and leave a decent area for them to work with. Here I am back dragging this last area um, before I'm moving on to the, uh, the larger chunk. So this is just kind of the, like I was saying, just to smooth everything out, um, you know, as good as possible and grab any last, uh, last bits or chunks of wood that might still be left out there after you're done raking it and just leave everything looking, you know, decent, ready for a... Uh, ready for some earthwork to begin so I know this probably has been kind of boring for some people that uh you know if you're not around if you don't do this kind of if you don't run a root rake or haven't run one before it's probably not real exciting to watch <laughs> but uh you know it's what I got and I thought I'd give it a shot and see how it turned out so hope you enjoyed this one have a good one